Uh, your motor vehicle has been boarded. Yes, Your Honor. You have 13 unpaid parking tickets. Yes, Your Honor. It's going to cost you a $100 boot fee. Yes, Your Honor. May I? Um, uh, yes. Well, um, I'm new to the city parking. I just uh, recently um, bought Eddie and Sons, the restaurant, the diner. Do you know what all these charges are? Parking at an expired meter. Yes, sir. You weren't familiar with that? You didn't no. know that you couldn't park at a meter after it expired? Oh, no, I did know that because... That's what you're charged with. Those, that's what's happening a lot. I know all about Eddie and Sons Diner. Yeah. All right? Yes, because sir. Because this is a Rhode Island story, right? You know, in Rhode Island, everyone knows everyone else. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Right. Eddie and Son, you know, was originally formed a gentleman Box. named Edward Caputo. Yeah. Right? Yes, and his sir. son was Tommy. Mm-hmm. All right, so after Mr. Caputo died, his son Tommy took over the restaurant. Yes, sir. So the son was Tommy. Mm -hmm. All right, Tommy was married to my first cousin. Really? Connie. So I know all about Eddie and Son's diner. Wonderful. Right, I used to have breakfast there in the morning. Yes. And the one thing they would tell me is, be careful, don't park at the meter because you're going to get tagged. Have you yeah. opened the restaurant yet? Yes, it's called Nico Bellis, and we have the best Italian food ever. Uh, all my customers are telling me this. And um, we give large portions of food. Now you talk about food. my cousin. She didn't have good Italian food. Oh, she was great. That's oh, why right. I, and I get a lot of customers because of Eddie's and Sons. They're like, they'll come in and say, oh my wow. goodness, I remember this. And they're, they're so great. I'm so glad you guys are here. I and mean, those were my grandmother's food. recipes. You can't talk about that. I'm not saying anything right. about your grandmother's recipe. Oh. I'm talking about the Cranker family recipe now. <laughs> what's, what's the best Italian dish that you make there? We make an outstanding meatball. Uh, Joe Paolino himself has said it's the best meatball oh, yeah. he's ever uh, had. All right, tell me how you make the meatball. <laughs> First of all, let's go through. I'm going to go through this now. I'm going to give you a lesson in making meatballs, okay? Well, I have chefs. My husband's a chef, but... Uh, right, I'm going to take it. Right. First yes, of all, sir. first of all, right? Yes. Let's talk about making uh, uh, two pounds yes. of meatballs, okay? Yes, sir. All right, so you buy two pounds of hamburg, right? Yeah. All right, what, are you gonna, what do you put them in now? No, I don't, I don't put two pounds of hamburgers in a... Uh, no, you, um, you're going to make a small meatball, but... But you see, my secret is I don't just use hamburg. I, I'm putting other meats Put veal? In veal. Okay. I don't want to tell my recipe, you know, but it's not all hamburg, is what I'm saying. All right. Well, listen, yeah. let me give you a recipe, okay? Please do. If you use... The, if you, use uh, you can use hamburg and you can mix it with veal if, yeah. you, if you like to do that. Yes, sir. Right? And so with one pound, for every pound, right, you put one pound of hamburger... Put two eggs. Yeah. You put grated cheese, right? And then you don't put breadcrumbs, right? You get a loaf of Italian bread. You let it get hard, and then you soak it in either milk or water. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then you crumble the bread, mm -hmm. right? Small piece of bread for a pound. Yeah. Of hamburger, right? And you yeah. crumble that. You mix it all up, salt and pepper, and a little parsley, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds delicious. Right. And then, now, I'm going to tell you something. See, What's everyone it? makes meatballs around, right? Yeah. Make them, make them oval. Make them like this. Yeah. See? And oval. Oval, like that. Uh -huh. Right? Not round like that. Yeah. Oval like that, right? Yeah. And that way they cook through because many times, see, it's very difficult because you got to pan fry them. You don't want to bake them. Yeah. you got to pan fry them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? You're going to put just enough now Reggio Parmigiana cheese. Yeah. And you'll have a great, great meatball. Fresh. Right? Yeah. Sounds like, good. You do that, there'll be a line around the block, right? Yeah. Uh, you <laughs> can say you. those. You can say those are Phillies. Meatballs. That's my mother's name. Phillies? Yeah. Okay. Right. Anyway, it's not going to help you with the fine. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I was just hoping just for a little reduction, please. I, my, all my money has gone oh, into the restaurant. Do that. I you can't, can't do, do that. that? Okay. No. <laughs> okay, you have to pay the boot fee of $100. Yes, sir. And it's going to cost you $150 for the ticket. So it's going to cost you a total of $200. And fifty dollars. Oh, you're a, you're an angel. Thank you. Good luck to you. I too have a meatball recipe that I'd like to share with you. First, go to any Italian deli that has Anthony, Paulie, or Luigi in the name. Order the meatballs by the pound. I suggest five. Drive home as quickly and safely as possible. Arrange the meatballs neatly on the plate, and eat with the fork. The fork and plate are optional. Thank you for listening.